All right, so previously in our little gas zipper, our 2011 Chevy Aveo, uh, I tried to clean the cats with the old like mineral spirits in the gas tank method and you know, surprise, surprise, it did absolutely nothing. So we're back today to take one more look at the catalytic converter in a little bit of a different way and see if it is in fact clogged. That's really my last check before I go ahead and replace this. Uh, you know, if it isn't clogged, then it probably just means that the catalyst is gone or it's been, you know, it's past its usable life or it's been fouled by some sort of issue running in the past. If that is clogged, that means we have a hope of clearing it and trying to continue to use it. So in this particular video, I would actually prefer that my cat was clogged. The problem with that is, is clogged cats usually exhibit other symptoms. Some of those things, of course, include uh, bad performance, right? Uh, obviously, if you're not getting exhaust flow, then you're not getting performance. Bad fuel economy, extreme heat coming from the engine bay or coming from the bottom of the vehicle, and uh, even like a rotten egg smell, like a sulfur smell coming out of the exhaust, which this exhibits none of those. My hopes for this for being clogged are pretty low. I already removed the heat shield. Uh, for that, there was just two bolts at the top. There's supposed to be a couple more down below, but those were rotten out already. And taking the dipstick out. So I did all that, pulled it off, so that way we can see it better with a thermal camera. So the idea is, is that we run it, we get it up to operating temperature, then we check the temperature up here in front of the cat and down below, below the cat to see if it's a significantly lower temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, let it sit, and then get the thermal camera ready. All right, it's only been running for a couple minutes, but let's check this out here. It says it's at about 540 at the top. It's not technically up to operating temperature yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait a little bit longer. Once it's actually up to operating, we'll do it again. All right, so I was revving it, so let's check this again and see where it's at. Up top, it looks like we're at about 750, and then down below, looks like we're at about 560. Interesting. So I was fresh off of revving it when I first checked the temperatures. Once I let it sit and idle for a little bit, before the catalytic converter was about 650 and behind it was about 550. I mean, that's getting pretty darn close to being considered an issue considering catalytic converters tend to actually heat up the exhaust on the other end of it. So next up, I guess we're just gonna pull it out and actually take a look. Subscribe and stick around for that.